Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two very similar hair tools. I'm going to be doing one side with the Timo ring and then the other side with the GHD Glide. So the Timo ring is about $60 and then the GHD Glide is about $150. I really like both of these, but I have never done a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm gonna be straightening my hair straight from curly hair. I have no product on my hair right now. My curls are not that great. <laughs> but once I put a product on my hair and like actually try to curl it, the curls do bounce back a little bit more. So don't mind my hair right now. <laughs> I hope you guys are liking Vlogmas so far. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Also, follow my Instagram. This is my Instagram right here. I post a lot of stuff on there that I do not post on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check out my Instagram, show some love, and let's get right into the video. So I am going to prep my hair. I'm gonna use the Dry Bar Prep Rally Spray. You guys already know this is amazing <laughs> this detangles my hair and it also protects my hair from the heat up to 450 degrees fahrenheit so i'm going to put one side up and i'm going to start with the timo ring i'm going to time both sides so you guys can kind of have an idea of how long it takes me to do all my hair i'll just do the fourth heat setting which is 400 i believe so i'm just going to do that the ghd glide only has one heat setting which is good because that way you don't add extra heat to your hair that maybe you don't even need. But at the same time, sometimes I wish I could go up a little bit higher on the heat setting with my GHD products because sometimes my roots are so curly and I need a little bit of a higher heat setting, maybe like 400. So yeah, with the GHD Glide, I can only do the one heat setting, which is about 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Works for me, but I do have to do a couple more passes, especially on my very curly roots. So yeah, let's do the first section of the Timo side. So I'm gonna detangle my hair. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've used the Timo ring. I love this hair tool, but I just always end up either like blowing out my hair and then straightening it with the straightener or just like straightening it straight from curly hair with a straightener. Um, but yeah, as you can see with one pass, it's pretty sleek. I'm gonna do another pass. I like that you can get very close to the roots with this hair tool. This comb is like small, so it gets closer to the roots, but it's like a really good size. It's not like too small. It's not gonna take you forever to do your hair. But yeah, there's the first section. As you can see, there's like a lot of smoke coming out of the hair tool, which sometimes I honestly don't love. I'm gonna start the timer actually so you guys can have an idea of how long it takes me to do all my hair or at least one side with the time wall. There's a lot of smoke coming out of this hair tool. Yeah, I'm definitely not going up to the fifth heat setting. <laughs> By the way, this is not pulling my hair at all. This is very gentle on my hair. That's actually very pretty. It's just like a wave, but at least it gives your hair a little bit of, you know, bounce on the ends. See how close I can get to the roots? It's so nice. Okay guys, I'm all done with this side, with the Timo side. As you can see, it's very sleek, shiny. It's like super straight and it did not take me that long to do this side. It actually only took me 14 minutes to do this side, which is not bad at all. As you can see, the ends have like a little bit of shape. I like that you can kind of like shape the ends with this tool. And yeah, my hair feels amazing. It's like super soft. Maybe it was because of the products that I used before doing my hair, but it looks really, really sleek. So I really love the Timo ring and I would totally recommend it. I always recommend it. I love it so much. So now I'm going to do the GHD side. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so it's all warmed up as you can see. It stopped blinking. Wow, there's a lot of smoke coming out. I'm like scared to use this. It's been so long that I've used this and 
It's so smoky. Do you guys see that? It's so smoky. Wow. Why is it so smoky? Do you guys see all that smoke coming out? Anyways, let's try this. So I'm going to detangle my hair. I'm just gliding this through my hair. So one pass is not enough. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a very nice pass this time. Very slowly gliding this through my hair. That's better for sure. I still feel like it needs another pass. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like this one pulls my hair more than the Tymo. The more straight that it is, the less pulling it does to my hair. This heat setting is lower, but it feels stronger. Like all that smoke makes me feel like I'm at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, when in reality, this is like 365 degrees Fahrenheit, but like it's so smoky. Wow, <laughs> I'm gonna start the timer for this side. So let's see how long it takes me to do all my hair on this side. Just remember that this side of my hair is curlier than this side, so it might take me a little bit longer. I'm surprised that this doesn't beep when it's like all warmed up, when it turns on and all that. Like the GHD Platinum Plus, I kind of got used to that. Um, this one doesn't do that, surprisingly. As you can see, it's leaving my hair super straight. I hate this shirt. It's like so not flattering. <laughs> By the way, this doesn't get like super hot as you can see. I'm touching the hair too and I just feel like a little bit of heat but it's not burning me. So that's what you feel when you use it on your head too. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't burn your head. I feel like these bristles out here get a little bit stuck with like when I put my hair up like this. It does get like a little bit stuck with these hairs right here. And that doesn't happen with the Tymo. The Tymo is a comb, so you kind of just place it where you're going to straighten your hair. And there's not like other bristles around it that will kind of like get stuck with your like curly hair. I'm gonna have to take off my earring because <laughs> it keeps pulling it. All right guys, I'm all done with the GHD side. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it also looks super, super sleek. I have absolutely no waves. This side of my hair is super curly and it's very hard for me to just get super sleek hair like this. So yeah, I do think that the GHD did a very nice job straightening my hair. It took me a little bit longer actually to do this side. It took me about 17 minutes. I know this side of my hair is curlier than this side, but I feel like the Tymo straightens my hair way quicker. I feel like it's just faster. This is what the Tymo side looks like. Also very sleek. I like that it has a little bit more of shape on the ends. Since this is a smaller brush, you can kind of like flip the ends a little bit and make a little bit more of a wave. With the GHD, you can't really do that. You can kind of flip the ends a little bit, but it won't really do much. So the ends do turn out a little bit more straight than the Tymo. I like both hair tools, but I did feel like the GHD pulled my hair a little bit more than the Tymo. I feel like both sides look very shiny, and I do like both of them. But I did like how the Tymo kind of shapes the ends a little bit more than the GHD. And I kind of felt like the Tymo was more gentle on my hair. And I like how you can use different heat settings with the Tymo. You can go all the way up to 400 if you want. You don't got to stick to one heat setting. I also liked that the Tymo gets a little bit closer to the roots. I like this shape of a comb more than this oval shape. It's easier to get in the roots with this. It doesn't have a lot of bristles around it that will get tangled with your hair and that will pull your hair a little bit more. So yeah, this one is a game changer. I really do like it. Um, I also like the GHD Glide, but I do feel like it's very pricey. And I feel like the Tymo is really good quality and it's very affordable, very easy to use, very gentle on my hair. So yeah, that's my honest opinion about these hair tools. I hope you guys like this video. Also, let me know in the comments down below which side you liked better. Did you like the Tymo side better or did you like the GHD side better? Let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys like this video, if you're liking Vlogmas so far, 
or subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>